let's take a look at this beautiful 1973 vintage Balboa motorhome. It's 18 feet long. As you walk in the rear door here, you'll see a beautiful carpet and the original wood paneling is in excellent condition. It's been refurbished. You've got an upper bunk area here, which can be used for storage. That's the table in there, which becomes the dinette and the bed. And I can also sleep small children or be used as storage. Moving into the chassis area here, you've got a 1973 B300. Dodge Sportsman van. It has 93,000 miles on it with a rebuilt engine. It's also got a 727 transmission that's been rebuilt. You can see the interior is in exceptional condition. Nice door panelings and the original seats are under there with armrests. All the wipers, blinkers, brakes all work. The air conditioning is not blowing cold air on the dashboard, but the heater works just fine and the original radio is still intact and working as well. Here are the original curtains showing a little bit of sign of age. Moving into the camper area, you'll see those large windows. We've got upper storage throughout the vehicle, which is lined with speaker carpet. You've got another stereo here, which plays tapes and a radio as well for when you're camping and chilling. You can see we've got a nice fan, original style, old school fan with the speakers and blinds to keep the sun out or the privacy in. Got a brand new looking stove here that runs on propane oven, three burner stove. And then their drawers. And inside these drawers you'll see the original beautiful vintage 1970s era uh, plates and cups. And, and then up top you'll see the silverware in a minute. We've got a three-way Dometic refrigerator. Condition is pretty nice, but I'm not sure if it works. I haven't been able to try it, uh, but it's still got the ice cube tray and might, would not be surprising to me if it did work. You'll see here in the drawer, as I mentioned, the silverware, nicely organized, and everything's just really clean. The upholstery was recently redone with a waxed canvas upholstery, and a new faucet was installed. The windows slide open easily with screens. Large windows throughout the camper really make this thing special. You've got the uh, original speakers there, a magazine rack, and this is the bathroom area that you'll see as we open the rear bathroom door. There's a mirror, it's also a shower, has hot water, a vintage ivory soap bar. You've got a new vent cover on there, some toothbrush holders. You've got the original medicine cabinet with a light on top. You've got a toilet paper holder there that it's got a cover on it and the toilet here which all works draining into a gray water tank which is underneath the vehicle. Both gray and black water go into the same tank. Showing you down here under the uh, dinette area you've got a power converter. You can switch that to battery or 110 if you're plugged in. This is a deep cycle marine battery brand new. It's put in there with a USB charger and also voltage regulator and a 12 volt outlet for any of your appliances or items that might need to be charged. And then moving over toward the other side, under this side of the dinette, you'll see the hot water heater which works when you're driving or when the car is uh, plugged in, when the vehicle is plugged in. Here's the cold water example, a new faucet. And then moving into the bathroom, we'll show you here that the toilet and um, shower and sink area all work with flowing water, both hot and cold. Again, the hot water runs off the engine or can be heated when your vehicle is plugged in. This camper also has an above uh, rooftop, uh, should I say, air conditioning unit that works when you're plugged in. Underneath the cushions here, which becomes the bed and the dinette area, you'll have a hose for filling up. And this is also the 40 gallon fresh water tank that you have uh, for the vehicle. And toward the back here, we have a propane suburban heater, which will work off propane and it can be ignited and will shoot hot air throughout the camper. And then the AC unit that's on the roof is a duotherm, so it's also a heater, but you have to be plugged in to use the heater that's on the roof. In the rear of the camper vehicle, we have a lot of storage cabinets, new hinges, and freshly painted door handles. We've got some pillows in there and some drawers along the bottom of that unit near the rear door. So, as we can see here, we've got a beautiful example of a very vintage, very well kept 1973 Balboa Camper Mini Motorhome. 
This is a look at the table. It flips open here to be full size or half size. It's really nice to be able to get into the dinette without having to scooch around the table, but it spins. And then when you are not using it as a dinette, you take the table leg out and you put it down on the ground on the thing there, and there you go, you have a bed. Showing you a quick look at nighttime with the uh, original vintage vibes going on here, the pots and pans. Kitchen and this side of the bed area here, as you can see, there's a long couch area and that'll fold down. Then it'll become a bed as well, so you can leave the dinette up or you can sleep more people. But here's a few more photos from the outside. Hope you enjoyed this tour. Um, it's a beautiful camper. It's very rare, it's very special. And I uh, look forward to handing it off to the next rightful owner. There's the Balboa badge, only about a thousand of these were ever made. Here's the rear entry. The spare tire is missing, but that's an easy find, and your ladder for rooftop access. Here's the underneath propane tank, I believe it's eight gallons. Here's the side of the vehicle where you can plug in. See the brand new Cooper Discovery tires here, and no rust on the body. Here's the access area for your cable television. There's my puppy. Pretty cute, huh? The vehicle just got a nice ivory white paint job. Here's some vintage vibes. Here's the curtains showing you your privacy abilities and the blinds down. And opened up, you'll see this beautiful open floor plan, wide window motorhome. All the original paperwork from the original owner is all here. Your manuals, paperwork from all the service records dating all the way back. Here's the transmission rebuilt, which happened less than 10,000 miles ago. And the engine, new engine rebuild, which was done less than 10,000 miles ago. Here's an advertisement showing you the epic Balboa motorhome.